Welcome back. We are back now with some great entertainment. Heather's The Musical. It's an on-stage adaptation of the 1989 cult classic film. Did you yes. ever watch this? I have not watched it. Oh. I know about it. It's like the OG Mean Girls. Well, yeah, you said yeah. it. It's filled with a lot of high school drama, a lot of teenage angst, and so much more. But White Rabbit Theater's production of the show opens later this month. But first, we are getting a sneak peek for you. Yes, and here to tell us more is director Adam Tortorello, along with lead actors Katie Lucasio and Greg Wojcik. Thank you so much Welcome. for all being here. So We're excited. Yeah, how did you guys end up picking this? So, um, like you mentioned, it, it's from the 1989 film with Winona Ryder. Yep. Uh, it's special because it takes high school to the extreme. Right. Like, it, it blows it up. Some people say high school was their favorite time in their entire lives, and some mm -hmm. people say it was the worst yeah. for various reasons. So, it extrapolates that and makes it as entertaining as it possibly can be with right. dance, difficult rock and pop music from mm -hmm. Lawrence O'Keefe and Kevin Murphy. It basically, um, we got the rights from Concord Theatricals. Okay. And um, we're now doing the show at Cheney Hall in two weeks. And so fun. It's That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. So, uh, and we were just, ta we've been talking about this all day because for people who <clears throat> haven't seen it, you sh it's, it is a cult classic at this point. Um, Shannon Doherty was in the film. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a lot of really now well known actors and actresses who you can see when they were just kind of breaking out into the scene. It's almost like the real, you know, the look back on where where were they before they were stars, yeah. right? They kind of got mm -hmm. their break mm -hmm. in this. But really, this was like the 80s, early 90s version of Mean Girls, which is so popular, and it became a cult classic now. So for people to be exposed to this in theater version, musical version, um, what's that like for you to be able to put that into a, a musical? These two are playing two of the lead roles. So I'm gonna pass that to them. <laughs> wow! So you're Victor are you Victoria? Veronica. Veronica, that's right. Veronica I'm so sorry. Sawyer, yeah. So I feel like the musical kind of lightens the topics mm -hmm. that the movie discusses yep. because it talks about very serious yeah. um, topics like suicide mm -hmm. and depression, mm -hmm. and the musical kind of highlights these flaws and struggles that we experience as humans, and it brings a little bit of light to them, and it makes it a bit easier to discuss. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so then, would you be JD? Yes. Okay. He's just one big ray of sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of the mastermind behind the whole thing, right? Yeah, yeah. He's he's basically kind of your stereotypical high school bad boy, only he's a complete psychopath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I which, mean, this is a dark comedy, right? So yeah. it has those dark undertones, but there's also a lot of humor on top that you sprinkle in there. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a fun balance of, like, I, I like playing the character if that's not too concerning to say, but it's, um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he's had a rough upbringing. He's, um, and once he becomes uh, obsessed with the main character, um, it sort of awakens this desire in him to shape the world in a way that he sees fit, whatever that may be. <laughs> and so there are three Heathers, right? So that's kind of the whole premise behind the, the storyline. Um, how do you get people to kind of buy into this and um, to make it sort of relevant to today's culture? Very good question. Yeah, you could see the three Heathers on our logo. They're the yellow, green, and red. Mm -hmm. And then Veronica tries to fit in with them because the three of them like control the right. whole school. Mm -hmm. And this is Veronica, the blue one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as far as how we apply it to today's world, as Katie mentioned, there's so many serious issues. Right. Um, and it has a good message at the end, but it gives you permission to sort of be entertained and laugh at some of these high school stereotypes that other shows don't. So it's unique in that way. Mm -hmm. And it's the type of show, like, you walk in, we promise you for two and a half hours, you're going to be super entertained. Uh, really difficult uh, song. I mean, she sings, I think I counted it, like, 20 songs wow. in the show. And he, wow. sings, Stop. and he sings about 12. And then you combine that with difficult dance choreography from our choreographer, Chantel Martin. Um, we got some stunts. We have some lifts. It's a really high energy show, so we wanted to challenge ourselves with this one. And before we go, I just want to make sure we get this in. This is your seventh full production. You guys have 22 actors from around the state in this, driving from all over as far as an hour away. Um, you know, this is a this is a labor of love that you guys have been doing to put this on. Correct. Yeah. That's why I'm so proud of the cast and crew because we all have full time jobs. Right. They're doing it unpaid. It's all out of love for theater. There's so much passion up there. 
And yeah, I couldn't be prouder with how this is turning out. Well, congratulations, you yeah. guys. Good luck. Thank you. Yes, you. break a leg. <laughs> Can't wait yeah. to see it. You can catch White Rabbit Theater's production of Heather's The Musical, August 30th to September 8th at Cheney Hall in Manchester. And for more information or to get tickets, please visit cheneyhall.org slash buy dash tickets. And it's a great venue. So what a nice, intimate performance setting there. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So